Okay, today we're going to be covering chapter 3 of Portal 2, which is the return. Ah. Things are still going a little haywire here in the aperture facilities. Uh -huh. I'm back. The aerial faith plate in here is sending a distress signal. You broke it. Alright, we're gonna send uh, portals on there. the ceiling right here and then another one right there. See what happened, right? I was just lying there. You thought I was done. Mm. <laughs> this plate must not be calibrated to someone of your was Wheatley up here. I'll add a few zeros to the maximum weight. We got Gladys here taking another chance to make more fat jokes. Defeated its load bearing capacity. Well done. I'll just lower the ceiling. Alright. Recreate our portal. Alright. That launches us through. Here we are now on the other side. Alright. Blue portal here. Jump back. Get back on the faith plate. Oops. Alright, I messed up for some reason. Try again. Alright. Alright. Blue portal here. Back to the faith plate. Or actually, we can, uh. Just jump right through, actually. Grab our cube. Place that here. Alright. Next portal comes here. Oh. Look at you, sailing right. through here majestically, like an eagle, piloting a Orange portal on this side. And then blue portal on this side. There we go. And that passes the laser through and opens the door. Alright. This next test chamber, which is 10, um... We need to get within 70 seconds to pick up another achievement. Um... This is the only achievement you really have to go out of the Enjoy way for this in this test. level. I'm going to go to the sir. We're going to save the game real quick. Surface. Okay. It's a beautiful day. Um, so Mr. we're trying to get the overclocker here. achievement if in this, this, which is course test, 10. Maybe I'll let you ride an we need to start firing a portal <sighs> up at the ceiling. I'm not telling you about the time I saw a deer again. That uh, didn't work right. Okay. Fly through. Hopefully that didn't screw us up too bad. Okay, jump through. You take the faith plate up here. Drop the cube there. All right, get on the faith plate again. Now we're up here. All right, I need to wait for this. Uh, Laser redirecting cube. Grab it. Alright. Now we can jump up here. Ah! I was trying to throw it, but. Ah, we got it. I didn't see the deer today. Right. So as you can see, there's a little room to mess up. But with you here, um, I've got more test subjects. Huh? And this unlocks overclocker and the turret shirts. Test chamber ten in under seven seconds. Seventy. Need. That's uh, one really, um, I guess, stressful part of chapter three. <laughs> 
or anything that you have to go out of the way for. Other than that, it's all straightforward. Just beating puzzles. Alright. On to test chamber These 11 now. These are made from natural light that I pump in from the surface. If you rubbed your cheek on one, it would be like standing outside with the sun shining on your face. It would also set your hair on fire, so don't actually do it. <laughs> Alright. Create a portal here. And uh, we use the bridge to cross over here. And then this causes portal or boxes to start dropping um, from this device, and we just keep recreating our orange portal to give us bridges to walk across. And then this one, oh, oh caught it. We can literally just walk back through here, create our orange portal here, make our bridge come back to where this uh, button is. Drop it. Recreate our bridge so we can jump down. And then step on through. Excellent. You're a predator, and these tests are your prey. Speaking of which... And that unlocks Bridge Over Troubling Water, which is the first hard light bridge test. I was completion. researching sharks for an upcoming test. Do you know who else murders people who are only trying to help them? Did you guess sharks? Because that's wrong. The correct answer is nobody. Nobody but you is that pointlessly cruel. <laughs> Glad this is such a character. Oh. I started, um... Doing these videos on my second runs, because uh, I, I realized that trying to do first runs is a little bit uh, inefficient. You die, I'm going to laminate your skeleton and pose you in the lobby. That way, uh, so this is twelve. Can learn from you how not to have your unfortunate bone structure. <laughs> the door's malfunctioning. I guess oh. somebody's going to have to repair that too. No, don't get up. I'll be right back. Don't touch anything. Alright. Hey! Hey! Up here! I found some bird eggs up here. Just dropped them into the door mechanism. Shut it right down. I ah! Bird! 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 <laughs> we leave okay. back again. That's probably the bird in it that laid the eggs. Livid! Okay, look, the point is, we're gonna break out of here, alright? Very soon, I promise, I promise. I just have to figure out how to break us out of here. Here she comes, keep te just keep testing. Remember, you never saw me, never saw me. <laughs> I went and spoke with the door mainframe. Let's just say he won't be, well, living anymore. Anyway, back to testing. Uh, as you can see, these boxes dropped in the water, so we're gonna have to figure out uh, a fix for that. Let's see here. All right, so fire portal up by the bridge. That way we can get on it. All right, now we have access to our hard light bridge. We just need to keep recreating our blue portal where we need it. There we go. That got us the box. Alright. Ta da! That's pretty simple. Well done. In fact, you did so well. I'm going to note this on your file in the commendation huh. section. Oh, there's lots of room. Alright, we're done with this chamber. Did well. Enough. <laughs> so elaborate. Alright, and the 
this is uh, going to be test just chamber 13, I believe. You remember them, right? They're the pale spherical things that are full of bullets. Oh, wait, <laughs> that's you in five seconds. Yeah, test chamber 13. Uh, so now we're dealing with turrets, which are like iPods, basically, with machine me? guns, in my opinion. Alright. We can create a turret behind this one and just knock them over. Kind of want to watch out for their bullets because um, they fire a lot once they've been knocked over. And then we can just take that. Ooh, ow. We can drop that turret through a portal and then that takes him out. Alright. Now we've got these two turrets here. We can drop boxes on them. That's one turret down. And that's turret number two down. Okay. Create a blue portal above that turret. And we can actually drop the other turret on top of it, and we took out two turrets at once. And then we just got one more turret there. And we can just knock it down ourselves. <laughs> We just need to grab one of our cubes, come through, drop it on the box. Take out that security camera at the same time. Alright, so... We've reached a little break in the uh, testing chambers, it looks like. Or a busted section. We're gonna use to get out of here. To maintain a constant testing cycle, I simulate daylight at all hours and add adrenal vapor to your oxygen supply. So you, you can see testing chambers being created time. above us. The point is, yesterday was your birthday. You can't I get thought you'd want to know. Well, looks like we didn't get out after all. <laughs> it's just a trick. Alright, so. As you can see, the laser kind of stays angled, uh, with whichever way it's pointing. So it comes through our portals here. Oops. You know how there we I'm go. Going to live forever, but you're going Just to be there angle in 60 years. like this. Well, I've been working on a belated birthday present for you. Well, more of a belated birthday medical procedure. Well, <laughs> technically, it's a medical experiment. Uh, sounds a little bit like lobotomy. Or something else pretty horrifying. That jumpsuit you're wearing looks stupid. Really? That's not me talking. <laughs> it's right here in your file. On other people, it looks fine, but right okay. here, a scientist has noted that so on this level, um, well, we got to use the neck bearded old engineer know about hard light bridges in bridge. order to. Oh, uh, wait, it's a she. Still, what does she know? Okay, it's a oh she crap! Has a medical degree oh. in fashion I from hurt. France. <laughs> Alright. Put me down. Alright, I get rid of that one. Alright. You can take out this last turret. Please put me down. 
searching. Who are you? <laughs> Anyways, that was kind of pointless, I realized, but. Alright. Make this bridge here. I can cross with impunity. Bridge there. And then a bridge here. And then that stops us halfway here, otherwise we'll just fly to the other side. And then we can get up here. Are you still there? Put me down. And you can use a cube and just push them all over. Oh crap. And it kinda uses or works as a shield at the same time. And then we can use uh, Sleep mode this thing. I'm gonna quickly run around them. And knock them over. Alright, we're good. I'm going through the list of test subjects in cryogenic storage. I managed to find two with your last name. A man. <laughs> so that's interesting. That's it's terrible. So Glad is suggesting that uh, Shell has a um, husband or possibly father or some other male relative locked in this facility, or just more mental I fuckery. I <laughs> for you after this next test, telling you would spoil the surprise. So All I'll right, watch out because there's a turret in here that we can't really do anything about, unfortunately. So we just kind of skip past it. And this gives us a laser here. And we can use a thermal discouragement beam to destroy our turrets. There you go. Bam. Now we can use a cube. Come back. Place it on this button, and then we'll keep the thermal discouragement beam active. And then firing through our portal here. And then we can use the optical redirector and clear this room of turrets. And then drop it to uh, put it in the um, receiver, and we're good to go. That's creepy. <laughs> Coming nursery room size. It says this next test was designed right. by one of Aperture's Nobel Prize winners. It doesn't say what the prize was for. Well, I know it wasn't for being immune All to Alright, course Jackson. 17. And Gladys again with some more troubling information. <laughs> uh, what a wonderful lady. Alright. So as you see, we need to be on uh, this pad. Let me stop things. So, how we're going to do that is create a hard light bridge over on the other side. And then we're going to place this cube right here, so it's blocking the laser. And then we come up here, get on our pad that we need to be on, recreate our hard light bridge, and cube I falls onto the button. About your surprise. And we're I good. didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. <laughs> So I got a surprise coming. Interesting. Sounds troubling. All right, and that's the end of chapter three.